Nuclear energy is an excellent alternative energy source. It is not only powerful, efficient, but also able to reduce greenhouse gas emission. To have a clean and low carbon future, nuclear power is used worldwide. For example, in Ontario, there are three nuclear power plants with a total number of 18 can-do nuclear reactors in operation, which contributes to nearly 60% of Ontario's electricity supply. However, most of these reactors were built in 1970s to 80s. As they age and their lifetimes extended, accurate assessment of the longevity and integrity of the reactor structure materials is increasingly important. So my work is to study the galvanic corrosion of carbon steel and stainless steel, which are often used as a supporting structures for the can-do nuclear reactors. I believe all of us have seen corrosion phenomena in our daily life. One common example is the rusting of steels. So what about galvanic corrosion? It occurs when two different metals are connected and exposed to the same corrosive environment. As a result, one metal will curl faster while the other curl slower than it would alone. So in my case, the corrosion rate of carbon steel will be accelerated. Therefore, careful evaluation of the performance of carbon steel is particularly needed. So how can we measure its corrosion rate? One effective way is to use electrochemical methods. And what is really exciting is that in our lab, we develop a new experimental setup, the dual electrochemical cell, which can provide us with more accurate corrosion rate information than conventional electrochemical methods. Not only that, it also allows us to directly and continuously measure the corrosion rate as a function of time, which cannot be achieved by any other existing methods. To mimic the effect of radiation, corrosion tests are also carried out in a cobalt-60 gamma cell. After each test, the surface morphologies and the corrosion products are also examined using well-developed surface analysis techniques. By performing both quantitative and qualitative analysis, and looking at the corrosion issue from all different perspectives, we can then have a big picture and better understanding of the corrosion process. Corrosion of materials is inevitable under certain applications. However, I strongly believe that accidents due to corrosion can be avoided with careful selection of materials and evaluation of corrosion propagation. Thank you.